let's start with the closing. Yeah, it's already over. <laughs> Two days of Avio 41, first time here in Zurich. Uh, so there's little shy questions. Did you guys like it? Thank you. Thanks. Thanks. Save some of that for later, okay? <laughs> because it's sort of the point. Uh, Hash Days and Area 41 are non-profit community projects. It's very important that you like it. It's not so important that we like it. It's not as important that the sponsors like it. Well, it's pretty important the sponsors like, but still. So we're happy that you had a good time. I just think that the people that didn't like it probably left. So well, I don't know. Much Let's just advised. move on. That's fine. Yeah. Should we go to the raffles? Yeah, I think because there are some people who have to get on the train to get to the airport to get somewhere else. We get the box with all the feedback forms. If you haven't handed it yet, um, too late. But we can still accept your feedback afterwards because um, we obviously like to get it. It's just that you won't get any of the prizes. Can you so, open this? Let's open it. OK, so before we hand off random stuff in general, do we have Shoel Minder in the room? Can you come up here for a second? <laughs> because I have your student ID here. <laughs> you might want this. <laughs> I put the Area 41 sticker on it so you have to add the bonus. No, you can, I will just hand it to you. Cool. Next up, uh, do we have Andrew Fio here? Yes. No, you. <laughs> no. Nice try, man. Nice try. No. Andrew Fio, except if this is a weird pseudonym or something, I don't know. It's a it's a notebook filled with Greek and sketches. So, if you watch the video on YouTube and you want this. <laughs> And the sticker I put in there, I didn't stick it in because that would be not respectful, but I will put it in here and we will send it to you if you come back next year. Okay, cool? <laughs> gotcha. Okay. There's uh, also a few lost and found items. So a sunglass has been found, I think, in room two and the dark brown sweater. If it's yours, feel free to pick it up. Uh, if it's not yours, don't pick it up, because that would be nasty. Uh, I'm not trying on you. <laughs> OK. Let's throw some random shit out. Just... Oh. <laughs> that was biased. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Sorry, but you can have this one. <laughs> and last one. Cool. Okay. Before it gets too nasty. Random free shit. Check. <laughs> okay. Then Google. Less random stuff. Exactly. You want to do Google first? No, we'll we'll do Google now. Google had a raffle. <laughs> Some of you actually thought somebody was trying to fish you. But the Google, little Google leaflets with the QR code and the Google logo that looked like it's a bitmap that was upscaled, those were legit. <laughs> <laughs> and we actually do have a winner. And this we will just give to that person, not to anyone else. With the other prize, we'll just pass it on as soon as long as we don't have a winner. But this time we have Christian Renner. You will need ID to pick this up. Christian Renner? <laughs> no? Okay, we'll just email him. Christian Renner. Okay, cool. Maybe okay. that's why they collected uh, student cards before, to impersonate better. Um, all right, so obviously we didn't only have the Google one. We also have this box, which is now open. So let's go to the draw, but it would be unfair to... We don't draw ourselves. No. Sorry? Huh? It's your work colleague, right? <laughs> we'll talk afterwards. <laughs> if you can, no, let, let's talk afterwards, okay. 
Okay, we don't draw ourselves. Uh, we need somebody, you know, with a magic touch. Somebody beautiful, somebody well known to the community. Christian Riley. <laughs> You know what you say. Can we have another round of applause for Mr. Christian Riley? This is, this, is, this is really awkward. We're wearing the same t shirt, dude. <laughs> yeah, but, but you look fat in it. Don't look. That's. <laughs> have you ever done that before? <laughs> All right, uh, hand it to Stefan. No, I just want to see if they, yeah, they mock me. It's good. <laughs> Daniel Hartmann. I actually know that's you. <laughs> there you go. Thanks. Two more. It's an uh, on online mod for an online shop and online commerce store, not to be named. <laughs> I'm going to mess this up, but Ivo Stracciotti? Maybe? Someone's getting up there? Cool. We'll just assume you're not lying. Well, nobody else tried it, go so uh, go for it. Not even you. <laughs> And then we have, that uh, that's different. an easy one, then we have Matt Moore. Yeah. Give him all. Congratulations. Awesome, thanks. <laughs> that's all for the duty, because the last one is actually up for the other puzzle that we did. I hope I drink. <laughs> so, um, I hope a few of you actually went online and tried it. Uh, at least some people actually solved it, so um, some people gone for it. Just to walk you quickly through it, because I don't want to waste everyone else's time, go to the videos to recap if it's too fast. First one, you had the, well, strange text on the top. If you notice the capital and lower cases, you get something like a binary repetition of something, but actually just use it as AAB. Well, go for zero or ones if you like to and it's a Bacon cipher. Look it up in Wikipedia. Basis of uh, five, group or groups of five together is one letter. Gives you the first keyword, which is manifold. So that's it for the first one. Moving to the second one. Well, actually, I think I get the clicker for Go that ahead. one, because that's easier. Wonderful. So um, that was an image, and I told you, you don't need a laptop to do any fancy um, schizophrenic file attack uh, on that one. I wanted to do that first, but, well, for those of you who are been there for a while, it's just magic eyes, so just stare at it. Um, it even works on a small smartphone, and you should see something like this in 3D. So it's one of those, so Kalabi is the second word. Um, some people tried really nice stuff, kind of freaking with the uh, frequency, uh, getting some of the colors, and maybe there was kind of similar green codes which could um, extrapolate to something. So I like the way of uh, thinking, but uh, yes, we went for the easy one, sorry. Third one, pretty obvious Morse code. So you start off with that. Resolves you or gives you a bunch of numbers between one and five. Um, obviously, didn't want to make it too obvious, but if you uh, think about it a little bit, it's a tab code. so a um, Polybius cipher, which basically means you got a matrix one to five, one to five, and just two coordinates for each letter. So you have three, five is a P, which, if you translate it again, leaves you to the third word, which is yao yao. It's from the Kalabi yao uh, for those who uh, studied math. Uh, but let's go quickly to the fourth one, which um, actually quite a few people solved. So um, looks like your regex skills are still uh, looking good. Just fill it in, and there should be a mirror G as the last and fourth word. So thanks for those who have played. And the winner is Fabi and Rika. They were the first one to solve it correctly. So um, <laughs> yes.
Thanks. Well done. They solved it yesterday. So um, before the party, maybe that's uh, the challenge, and then gladly went to the party, right? What the hell is up with that? <laughs> it, I mean, really, it's a question. <laughs> oh, oh, it's on. Well, error code six, uh, I don't know. I mean, read the friendly manual, right? Uh, it was one of the coffee machines upstairs. Um, so this morning when we tried to, well, get them ready so you get your coffee uh, or the hot coffee in if you don't like the club mate, we saw a few of those and we thought, damn, did they really hone our machines? Uh, I mean, it would be awesome, but then at least tell us how you did it because we want to know about it as well, right? Um, but it turns out it's actually a legit one, so it's a just malfunctioning uh, water pump uh, who, well, sucked in some air and then uh, coughed on that one. So they didn't pwn it, well, at least not that we know of. If you did, now is your chance to get the fame. Anyone? <laughs> Volunteers? No one's stepping up on this, uh, until there's a okay, bug bounty. Well, it's just a coffee machine, but we all know things like that happen. Well, what else, Stefan? What else did we have? Thank you so much for sticking around yesterday for the party. We had a great time. The party, well, the budget for the party is something that came from DEFCON Switzerland. So thanks to the board for sponsoring our barbecue here. Uh, but we're in the board as well. So. And thank you to Candid and Adrian who were literally barbecuing sausages all night long. There's still some left if anyone's hungry. <laughs> we also know that you know, some of you had some wild nights, but we weren't really concerned about that, but because we sort of knew that you got home safely. Well, I mean, you all know about tracking, right? Um, do you remember those badges? Um, I mean, blinking will be obvious, but could there be anything else? Um, no, we're just well, messing no, with you. No, just don't worry. <laughs> well, we had a lot of questions. No, there is no GPS locator inside. At least, if there is, it's not ours. So, don't come to us. Did anyone check? Yeah, I saw a few actually disassemble them. Um, it's easy. Do mm -hmm. it. You can also exchange the batteries, by the way. Well, don't worry. Okay. Let's move on to thanks. I know that a lot of the volunteers are already are still working or are you know, running around doing the last chores. Some of them only worked shifts yesterday. But I know that some of them are still here. So please, volunteers, please raise your hands now. Keep them up for a second. I know you're tired. It's going to be over soon. I need you all to give a giant round of, of applause. Hold hear me out. Giant round of applause to our volunteers. Because this is the first time we're running this conference in such a huge venue. We had some starting problems yesterday to get everything straight. They coped with it wonderfully. They did a wonderful job. And we couldn't have done any of this without them. Thank you so much, guys. But not only, only the volunteers have supported us very much. Um, as I said, we were here for the first time at Complex 457. The crew here has been absolutely fantastic. They are so passionate about what they're doing. They are really supportive to our, what we are doing here. They don't get a lot of hackers down here. <laughs> but they do get a lot of you know, big concerts and stuff. So if you're in Zurich, drop by. They're doing an amazing job, so please give them a round of applause. Exactly. And, well, last but far from least, thanks for all, to all of you guys for coming out, because I heard that there was sort of hallway con all the time, which is cool, especially since we're not in a hotel. <laughs> But you make this con what it is, and for that, we thank you. Thanks.
So, of course, also, we want to thank the sponsors uh, because we need them to have you here and accommodate um, all of you actually on this um, nice venue. So we got Fortinet, we got the Weird, and Checkpoint Dimension Data as Platinum sponsors. As gold sponsors, we have Joe Security, Tramp Micro, Swisscom, and Atrilla. Thanks. <laughs> and of course, also the silver sponsors, Kudelska Security, P Trace, Kaspersky, Google, and Ernst & Young. Thanks. <laughs> okay. A few last things before we let you go. Hash day. <laughs> he fell for it. He fell for it. <laughs> Area 41. 2014 is going to be closed pretty soon. We're going to clear the venue quickly. We need to get this thing clean. So what's next? Well, we hope so. We absolutely look into it at the moment. We haven't started the planning yet. We probably need some sleep first to make uh, proper decisions. So bear with us, but follow us on Twitter. Uh, follow the website. Um, as soon as you know anything, we'll post a safe to date and hopefully welcome you back here. Videos. As you probably know, we haven't taken any videos from track two because it was in a former strip club and we felt it's like, you know, appropriate that this is sort of an underground thing. Also, we couldn't have Christian Riley present if we took video, so sorry. <laughs> the videos of track one are going to be online on YouTube, on our channel, youtube.com slash DEFCON Switzerland, in approximately a month. Give us some time to like, you know, get sober and some sleep. If you took photos during Area 41 this year, Feel free to share them with us. You can either send us the, the link or you can send us the SD card or whatever the hell you want. We would love to see them. And uh, now, before we start, I need to get Adrian up here. He's here. Wonderful. You want to say something? You wanted the mic, right? Get the microphone, yeah. No, we didn't get the mic. Um, besides the fact that Stefan and I were always talking, um, Yep. There's one more in the crew organizing everything um, who was in the background doing most of the video setup and obviously preparing as well. So one final question for you. How many people did we actually accommodate? So how many people were at Area 41 roughly? There were roughly 350 people in here. So great. Absolutely great. We were overwhelmed with uh, the many guys who came up, signed up for the conference. It was absolutely wonderful. Thanks for coming. And the girls, of course, yes. <laughs> so, yeah, I think that is us. Thank you very much on behalf of us, the committee of DEF CON Switzerland. Thank you very much for coming. We really hope to see you back here next year.